Hello dear students, our today's topic is another heterocyclic compound oxazole. Today we will go for the synthesis, reactions and some medicinal compounds of this heterocyclic nucleus. Now let's look at the structure. Oxazole is a five-membered heterocyclic ring. It consists of two heteroatoms. At position number one we have oxygen and at position number three we have a nitrogen. Beside this we have three carbons which are attached with three hydrogens. So its molecular formula is C3, H3, N and O. According to the nomenclature of heterocyclic system, this is simply called as 1,3 ox as ol. Here the priority goes to the oxygen. So we will call it on position 1 oxo and on position number 3 aja which is a prefix for nitrogen so and for the five member ring we will use the suffix ol so in this way it will become 1 comma 3 ox aj ol now let's look at the synthesis the first synthesis is robinson gabriel synthesis in this synthesis this starting material is this acetamide derivative. If you look at this structure, it is CH3CONH. That means it is amide. Here we have a ketone also, but according to the priority order of functional groups, out of ketone and amide, the priority goes to the amide first. On to the nitrogen of amide, we have this two carbon chain, so it is called as ethyl. On second carbon, we have a phenyl and a oxo groups, so it is called as two oxo, two phenyl, ethyl acetamide. Now, this starting material is reacted with acid, which gives the proton. This proton goes on to this carbonyl oxygen. So oxygen now will acquire the positive charge because it shared its unshared pair of electron, the lone pair of electron with the hydrogen. So with this we get formation of this intermediate. Now dear students, please look at this intermediate very, very carefully. Here the hydrogen gets attached on to this oxygen. That's why this oxygen acquires the positive charge. But it is electronegative. So it will attract the electron pair from this bond, pi bond towards it. So one of these bond that is a pi bond will be broken down and thus this carbon will then become electron deficient that means it will become a carbocation so on to this carbocation this oxygen which is electronegative will attack to fulfill the deficiency of electrons by doing so this oxygen break one of this pi bond and will make this bond with this carbon. So we have a five membered heterocyclic nucleus over here. Now one more point we have to keep in mind that when oxygen makes bond with this carbon, this carbon will become electron deficient. So the nitrogen will liberate out this proton from here and the electrons given by the hydrogen now will be utilized to make a double bond means a bond between nitrogen and carbon so we will have uh, this double bond over here now this structure consists of this hydroxyl group over here and on to this alpha carbon we have the hydrogens so this hydroxyl group and one of this hydrogen will make up a water molecule which will be released out from here and thus a double bond is generated between this carbon and this carbon. So in this way the cyclization with the loss of water molecule will give us the formation of this compound which is called as 
टू मिथाइल फाइव फिनाइल ऑक्साजोल सो दिस इज द सिंथेसिस नंबर फर्स्ट एंड इट इज द नेम सिंथेसिस रॉबिनसन गैब्रियल सिंथेसिस इन टू एग्जामिनेशन यू विल फाइंड द क्वेश्चन दैट राइट डाउन अबाउट द गैब the robinson gabriel synthesis of oxazole so dear students in that question you have to describe this full synthesis now move on to the next synthesis which is starts from ethyl hydroxy keto succinate it is a succinic acid derivative that means it is the ester the diethyl ester of succinic acid which has a hydroxy group on to this carbon and uh, doubly bonded oxygen over here that's why it is called as keto and hydroxy diethyl succinate if we look at the structure we will find that this hydrogen is alpha to this carbonyl group so this hydrogen may migrate on to this oxygen and thus the oxygen is gets now the oxo group is gets converted to the hydroxy group and the double bond will be generated between this carbon and this carbon so we will get formation of this intermediate which reacted with this amide hconh2 it is called as formamide this amino group attack on this carbon whereby there is release of water molecule and thus we have a bond between this carbon and this nitrogen so dear students you can see in this structure that the bonding will takes place between the carbon and the nitrogen to give this intermediate here this is the aldehyde portion hco and is attached with the nh so this hydrogen may migrate over this electronegative oxygen and thus we have a tautomerism over here when the hydrogen migrate on to the oxygen the double bond will be generated between the nitrogen and carbon and the oxo group is gets converted to the hydroxyl group so in this way we get formation of this dihydroxy derivative now both the hydroxy groups are very close to each other and the hydroxy groups are acidic in nature so one of the proton may migrate on to another hydroxyl group to release out the water molecule and the cyclization takes place with oxygen at the center so with this we have formation of this five membered heterocyclic ring which consists of two ethoxy carbonyl group at position number 4 and at position number 5 now when this derivative is heated with barium hydroxide firstly the ester is gets converted to the corresponding carboxylic acid that means the ethoxy group will be removed out as ethanol molecule and thus there will generated the cooh group which on heating liberate out the carbon dioxide molecules so two carbon dioxide molecules will be released out to give the formation of our desired heterocycle oxazole now move on to the next synthesis that is the last synthesis which is starts with this starting material once again it is an ester here it is called as ethyl acetate the on ethyl portion we have two substituents at second carbon we have a oxo group that is two oxo and again on second we have a phenyl so it is called as two phenyl ethyl acetate it reacted with the ammonia now it is also a very famous reaction this is a ketone portion and it is ammonia so ammonia molecule attack on this carbonyl carbon to bring the nucleophilic addition followed by the elimination of water molecule you may say that two hydrogens and this oxygen 
will be liberated out as water molecule and this gives the formation of this imine that is the ship base here the double bond is generated between the carbon and the amine group so it is called as imine now this alpha carbon bears the hydrogen so one of the hydrogen migrate over this electronegative nitrogen so we have a tautomerism over here when hydrogen migrate over this nh it is gets converted to the amino group and thus a double bond is generated between this carbon and this carbon so we have formation of this intermediate derivative now in this structure also the amino group and this oxo group are close environment so the two hydrogens and this oxygen will be liberated out as water molecule so in this way the cyclization takes place with the loss of water molecule and it gives the formation of this oxazole derivative which is called as 2 methyl 4 phenyl oxazole so that is all about the synthesis now move on to some reactions the electrophilic substitution reaction in case of oxazole takes place at 4 and 5 position but preferably at position number 4. The nucleophilic substitutions are very uncommon in case of oxazole. Now very quickly we will look at some reactions. The oxazole derivative like 2-phenyl oxazole when reacted with and bromosuccinimide the bromination takes place the bromine from N bromosuccinimide will get attached electrophilically at position number 5 to give 5 bromo 2 phenyl oxazole likewise when the oxazole derivative is treated with nitric acid now it is very important important reaction over here the nitronium ion generated over here will get attached on the phenyl ring because the phenyl ring is the very good source of pi electrons so in this case the nitronium ion does not attach at the 4 or 5 position on the oxazole rather it get attached at the benzene ring to give 2 4 nitrophenyl oxazole the oxygen derivative like this undergoes the reduction also. It gives the reduction especially with sodium in presence of ethanol. Both the double bonds undergoes saturation and hydrogenation to give the formation of this oxazolidine derivative. So that is all about the reactions of oxazole. Now we will move on to the some important medicinal compounds. The first compound is called as oxaprozine this is a very good non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug the second molecule is a minorex and this is considered as an anorectic agent that means it stimulate the weight loss process so dear student that is all about all about the oxygen and its important information thanks for watching the video please like share and subscribe thank you